Look at this. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Right, so we're gonna look at the packages before we get started. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint in the shade Medium. This is what the outer package looks like. It's just like um white with like a gold rose goldy kind of situation. And on the back it says get sheer coverage that smooths, blurs, and enhances skin's appearance for an effortless, no makeup makeup look with a natural finish. So this is what the component looks like. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. I think, I'm trying to get it to focus on it. I think that this component is really stunning. I love the detail to it. I love that it's an airless pump, so you're going to get every bit of this product in here. And as always, I will put the prices across the screen because I don't remember. I think it was like $36 maybe. Now, she did say that there were only, I think, 12 shades. If I'm ever incorrect, I put it across the screen. But there are 12 different shades because each shade could fit like one to do one to two different skin tones. So I got the shade medium just because I'm hoping that this is going to be like my jam and work nicely. So skin tints can be more variable with, you know, who they fit. They don't have to be a perfect fit like a regular foundation. However, 12 still seems kind of iffy just because of the magnitude of undertones and whatnot i don't know we'll have to see but 12 is all we got so the so. concealer is in the same packaging just white with that um rose gold situation this buildable medium to full coverage concealer visibly brightens blurs and flexes with your skin for a flawless finish all day long now hear me out the problem is and this is what this one looks like i got two of them actually before i get into that i got light medium neutral and light yellow just in case because concealers are a little bit more tricky um she also had like hella concealers which i mean i guess makes sense because she wants it to be more to the person's undertone and whatnot but the thing is why didn't you do that with the skin tint however so the components are really really pretty they're just like I mean, they're regular concealer components. I just like the rose gold situation, honestly, but these are the two colors that I got before we get started. <laughs> Why is this a skin tint and like very lightweight, very no coverage situation? Okay, the, that's what this is. And these are medium to full coverage. Like if I do like a lightweight skin tint, I either one, do not use concealer at all, or two, I use a very lightweight natural concealer. So for her to bring out two full coverage concealers is kind of weird on top of a skin tint. I don't know why. No. Explain it below if you know, because I just, I don't understand it. So I did zoom it in just a little bit more. I know my head is cut off and I'm like all up in your face. But with it being a skincare product or skin product, um, I want you to be able to see it. Okay. So I think that on one, I think I'm going to apply it with my hands because the Fenty Beauty, um, Ease Drops and the Huda Beauty, I, I apply all of that with my hands. Usually a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer. I do apply with my hands. I have put on moisturizer cause I'm having like some of my eczema issue coming back here to haunt me right now. I did two pumps. Let's see. Oh, that's actually not too bad of a match for my skin tone, but it may be a little too like, oh, it's really fragranted. Okay. Eef. It's kind of like a, um, like a moussey feeling, but it is very fragranted. So that kind of worries me a little bit. Hopefully it oxidizes a little because this is kind of light. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker from the swatches online. No, I actually think that matches perfectly.
So here we are with one layer. So this is two pumps on the side of my face here. Um, first impression, okay, that's a little streaky. Um, first impressions, um, it looks very healthy. Um, I will say that, like if you look at the difference, it's definitely um, color corrected, so it's enough coverage to color correct between the, the face. So I still have a little bit of that natural skin coming through where I have a little bit of the red, where this one has like really red here, really like different color here, and then down here it covers that, so it definitely does make my skin look a bit more healthy. Um, it definitely also looks glowy, like when I go like this. Ooh. And then that's my natural skin. So I, so far, I'm liking it. The only thing that I would say is it is kind of pale. Like I wish that this medium would have had a little bit more color. So maybe I should have went a little bit um, darker, if you will, or more yellow undertone. But we'll see. I mean, it kind of matches my neck. It just, maybe it's just like the way that it is here. But like in here, it kind of... Like when I look at the mirror, let me look at a mirror up close. It is attaching itself to my dry skin right here. So that might be a problem if you have dry skin. Just be mindful that it may attach itself to that and look a little bit more cakey, if you will. So now I'm going to go in and put two pumps and do the other side of my face. Oh, that's gross. I think because I have the studio lights on, it looks way better than it actually does in person. So I'm going to record on my phone so you guys can actually see what this looks like. So there's just like a lot of dryness around the mouth, like severely sticking to my dry skin. And like, I understand I have dry skin, that's on me, but like it's really, really sticking to it and really emphasizing that dry skin, which I don't enjoy at all. And then there's my nose. Um, I don't even really know that the camera picked that up, but it's like not covering the center of my nose and it's making like these like white weird things on my nose. Like if you look, oh, see that? Oh my God. All right, so I was able to do it with the back of the camera on my phone. It just, no, ah, I don't like it. It just doesn't, it's like breaking up on my nose. And like, I don't have oily skin. So for it to do that is kind of strange, but it's like making me look like I have a bunch of whiteheads in my nose. Like it's really weird. Okay, well, we're gonna move on because I'm just not, I'm not here for this. I'm trying. I, and it has a lot of fragrance, like a lot, a lot. I don't know. Oh, okay, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. All right, so I think I'm going to swatch these concealers and see what we have. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go in with this one, which is light yellow. Here it is. And I'm not gonna do a lot, just because it's like a natural like situation, you know? You don't want a lot of concealer coverage when you have like no skin coverage. So just a little, a little bit. Ooh. Okay, so it dries fast, which I hate about concealer because now I have to try to get this. Oh my God. It's drying. It's basically dry on my face. <sighs> Miss Jacqueline. Oh my God. I am not going to be able to get this to dry down or to spread. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this. That is quite literally laid on my face. <laughs> what I'm going to have to do is kind of go back over it to kind of like wet it again, basically, 
to get it to fucking blend out. And people were raving about this stuff and I think they're full of shit. I'm sorry. I, I hate being that way, but it is the truth. This is insane. Like I just had to beat the shit out of my face to try to get this to blend out and now it's lifted all of the skin tint right in here. <laughs> this is garbage. This guy, he's not going nowhere. <sighs> not a fan at all. I'm so mad right now. I need a second. This concealer was $26. Uh, I think it's absolute garbage. Um, I'm Before we even get to the ending, this is probably one of the worst concealers I've ever used. Um, wine, my concealer should not solidify to my face as if acrylic paint just dried onto it. So there's that. Two, it's not, it's making my under eye worse when it comes to color. Like if you look here, like this one, I can't even get it. I keep, I keep, and it just, it's not doing anything because once it's on, it's on. So like you have to be so fast to even get this to work. And it's starting to like cause a lot of like, it's sticking to my dryness or discoloration to my eyes. I don't know. I absolutely think that this concealer is hot garbage. This is the worst concealer I've ever used in my life. 100% hands down the worst concealer. $26. 20 I'll be returning these. I am 100% returning these. Jacqueline, you can kiss my ass for that. I'm sorry. I don't like to be that way, but $26 for this and it's garbage. One, it's so dry. It is so 100% dry. Why would you make something so drying and so gross and then pop something out that is supposed to be like skin tint and glowy and dewy? Nope, this one makes me mad. I'm not a friend. I ain't, you know, moving on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on because I'm gonna get upset about it. Because I don't like when companies charge people that amount of money for something that they know is garbage. You're not, you're not wearing that. You're a liar. And if you do wear that, I don't know what to tell you, but moving on. So I'm going to go in, I'm actually going to be trying to use a lot of her face products. This is the translucent, um, setting powder that she came out with a while ago. I actually do enjoy it because it gives me a little bit of a glowy look to my set more than, you know, completely utterly matte. I'm so irritated about that concealer. Like 100%, I'm mad. You're charging people almost $30 for a concealer that literally, like if you guys buy it and you like it, like that's cool, I'm glad because I don't want you to ever waste your money. But if you buy it, girl, you better work. You better work fast. Cause as soon, like literally it wasn't even on my face that long. <laughs> like 30 seconds and it had already decided that that's where it was staying. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I'm just gonna put that down. I'm basically just at this point going in. I don't have a bronzer from Jaclyn because they didn't have one in my shade. So I just am gonna go in with an Urban Decay bronzer. We love a good bronzer. Good bronzer makes every foundation look better even if it's hot garbage. All right, so for blush, I'm going to do a more lightweight blush just to go with the whole lighter makeup. And this is a Luminous Rouge. And for the most part, if I had a skin tint on, I'd probably be doing the same thing, just maybe a cream bronzer, but I just wanted to do that bronzer because I haven't used it in a while. But other than that, this would kind of be what I would be doing when it comes to a no makeup makeup look. Just very light on the face. Oh. I put too much on the brush. It's a very, very bright br blush. Okay. It's supposed to be more like a lightweight look and somehow here we are, a bright orange blush. But I do like this blush. I do like it. It's just very like. Uh. So I'm gonna go on with the Jaclyn Cosmetics The Flash Palette 
for my highlighter and I'm gonna use Sparks. Spark money sign. I always say that. And then for my lip, I'm going in with the Flammable Lip Gloss by KKW Beauty. Just because it kind of goes with like the whole orange vibe that I'm doing. It's a lip gloss though. I actually really enjoy this lip gloss. It's very pigmented and like it feels good. It looks good. The only thing is it kind of smells weird. Um, it has like a lipstick smell for a lip gloss. I don't know. That's not the point. We're not here for that. I'm going to be real blunt. Um, some people are going to like this. Some people are not. And that's fine. Uh, but I just find that on, here on my channel, I'm just a very honest person. That's just who I am. Um, it doesn't matter what company it is, what brand it is, who it is. It doesn't matter. This is the biggest waste of $86 I've ever spent in my entire life. Like 110%. Uh, there's not a single one of these that I liked and it just kind of got worse as I was using them. Um, um, the skin tint, it, if you don't have, like I feel like maybe if your skin was perfect or someone who just had like no issues whatsoever, flawless, perfect, nice skin, this might actually look nice on you. Um, now for the rest of us, it got into my pores, which I don't even have big pores like I have the driest skin on earth my pores are like non-existent and I can now see that I have pores so didn't have pores before now you can see them it is extremely fragmented I don't find that any foundation or complexion product needs to be this um, fragmented it was one of the biggest issues I had with the first faux filter Huda Beauty foundation it was extremely fragmented and just not my jam um, I can see like it's just breaking up and causing issues on my nose again I will post those videos somewhere on here for you to see again and it just dries like it clings to every piece of dry skin that I have on my face it is causing like a bunch of white spots to gather like in here I'm just not it's not my least favorite product of the launch just not really a fan these um, I put them back in here because I will be returning them. Um, I mean, all of it is going back. It's disgusting. I'm not buying. I'm. I want my money back. Like that's. And usually I don't do that. If I dislike something, um, I kind of either will give it to somebody else. This is garbage, and I wouldn't give this to anybody else. I wouldn't give it away because it's not worth it. These dried so fast that you could see on where I had it no matter how much I pressed it wasn't moving I had to reapply to wet it to get it to be blendable it caused a lot of discoloration up here where like my eye is I you're not gonna be able to really see it now but before you could see like white spots where it was just kind of clinging and just causing a lot of discoloration I think that this was a it was a fail the whole launch was a fail and again people are not gonna like this and that's okay but I'm not here to bullshit you and sell you products that I don't think are worth your money I think both of these products are not worth buying I think you could pass on both and be totally fine I know that you get FOMO and you fear like you're missing you're not you're not missing out on anything do not buy these products if you want to buy these products you can buy these products like obviously I'm not your boss if you have these products and you love these products that's great I'm happy for you I just don't find a need to lie to you guys I don't care to lie to you guys or pretend a product is good I like Jacqueline I like a lot of her products I don't have any issue most of her products I've actually these are fucking garbage they're so bad um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you enjoy my honesty or at least respect my honesty I try to be 100% transparent with you guys and honest with you because this is your money uh, this is my money I bought this and at the end of the day I have no need to lie to you um, it's just not worth it to me I think that Jacqueline is an okay person um, I think she's had her flaws but that never really weighs in on my decisions 
of makeup my biggest thing on my channel is you know no drama I'm not I don't care about the scandals I don't care about the drama I don't care I don't care I care about the products that they're launching and if they're launching crap products I'm gonna tell you these were crap products so I hope that you appreciate that for me um just the honesty and whatnot if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up before you leave make sure you do subscribe to my channel I do three new videos every single week you don't want to miss out on those and as always guys I love you and I'll see you on the next one Bye.